Okay, uh, welcome to this video for a demonstration of uh, my carbon cage stove. Um, essentially made of a, an aluminium lightweight base, uh, aka a soda can or a pop can in the UK. Um, stainless steel welded wire mesh. Uh, stainless is important. Most of the standard mesh that you can buy at garden centres etc is, is coated with zinc. And when you burn zinc, um, it gives off zinc oxide fumes and uh, can be pretty nasty. Not not a major danger, but it's it's best to be safe rather than sorry. And then inside there, there's a ring of carbon felt. And you can see the bottom's been depressed to allow more fuel capacity. Stove weighs 24 grams, so it's uh, extremely light. And uh, we'll get straight on and uh, do a boil test. Uh, I'm not going to kill a new one so here's my one I've got an ounce of meths has gone into there and you can see that's more or less completely soaked into the um, into the felt and I've just spilt meths which is never a good idea just get rid of that okay so let's get this show on the road uh, most of my stoves, I, I always tend to go for efficiency over boil times. Uh, ultimately, if you're carrying your fuel, then obviously there's a, there's a trade-off between how, how fast your pot boils and how much fuel you've got to carry. If you're on a seven-day extended uh, walk, then obviously grams matter. This one is a bit of a departure from that. This is an out-and-out -out water boiler. It boils quickly. It's not as efficient as... Um, this is the one I tend to use when I'm backpacking. It's a similar sort of model, same sort of height, um, but this is made from uh, like a Red Bull can size base and uh, it's a much smaller footprint, uh, but you do sacrifice steadiness. Whereas with the Pepsi can, you get a super wide base and it's very stable. Okay, so let's get this lit. And then we've got the old 500 mil of cold tap water going into my pot which is um, the Snow Peak 1400 which is about a uh, five and a half inch diameter so we'll put that on there nice and stable as you can see and we'll start the clock there we go we're away so we'll uh, we'll see what that does Obviously if you're outside you'll be using a windscreen. A lot of people ask me well, why do you always do your videos in the kitchen and generally it's so I can repeat the conditions that I'm operating under. You know, There's no wind in here. I can give you a good comparison of uh, boil times against other stoves. When I'm out I'm normally looking at something like a if I'm using my cold air a cone with a 1210 stove then I can expect 500 mil to boil in about eight or nine minutes. Um, that's fine. I'm happy to wait for that. I can be doing other things while I'm doing it. But if I'm base camping or if I'm in the woods, which I like to do occasionally as well, then a stove like this is is superb. And the other thing that I will throw in with this is whoops, sorry is a simmering. Uh, this is titanium. Um, and if you're going to use it, then obviously you just slide it on the bottom of the stove and you just raise it up and it moderates that flame, it shrinks the uh, the bloom down so you can use it with smaller pots um, I tend to use it with my frying pan uh, if I want to cook sausage and bacon and eggs then um, that's just the ticket because it actually dials down the power massively okay well now we'll sit back and wait for a boil we're on 1 minute 42 and we'll see how long it takes us to get to the magic bubbles. And you can see there's not a tremendous amount of flame spill from around the pot. Um, it's just coming over the edge. But I've never noticed that being an issue. Uh, I've used this with my uh, MSR Titan kettle as well. And... I get similar sort of boil times. There is a lot of flame licking up the sides, but it 
doesn't seem to hurt either the economy of, of fuel use or the boil time. I think there's a bit of a misnomer where people say you should never have flames spilling up the side of your pot. Um, perhaps the case in very very efficient stoves but if you're just using one for a, an out and out fast boil then I don't think it does too much harm. The nature of the flame is when it hits the pot it's got to go somewhere. Now we're coming up on three minutes now. Just start to hear a change in tone from the pot. And there we go, that boiled at, oops, have some light, it was 345 on the clock, it's now on 357, but 345 for 500 ml of water is uh, an exceptionally good time, if time's your thing, um, but thanks for watching, and um, we'll leave it there, I'm going to go and, and have a quick brew. Uh, oh, just one more thing, the simmering, which I just blew all over the floor, um, Essentially, before you start using the stove, just slot it on the bottom, and when you've got the weight of a pot on there, you can just slide that up, and it just stops the burn from being as fierce. Ideal for frying, simmering, or just cutting down on fuel use. Thanks for watching.